Hey guys, it's Aaron here, and today I'm going to give you guys another tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own DVD menu for your DVD player. Now it's pretty simple. Uh, this works for Windows 7, I know for a fact, I don't know about other Windows platforms. It will definitely not work for Mac. Um, that will be a totally different program. Um, so Windows 7 users, what you got to do is go over to your start menu and look for a Windows DVD maker. Now, for that, you just go to Search Programs and Files, type in DVD, and it will be the first choice right here. Alright, so it's going to take you to this screen. Now, once you do that, go ahead and click Add Items. Now, select the items. They can be videos or pictures. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to do my Battlefield Mission 2's Part 1 and 2. So that way you can kind of show you can add more than one file. Alright, now once you've added your files, go ahead and click next. And you're going to be taken to this screen. This is where you choose your menu type. Now there's different ones. There's uh, baby blue, uh, pink. These are more for like, you know, brand new child and, you know, stuff like that. Um, there's also uh, scenes like a uh, color cycle. Um, there's uh, just very many uh, menu styles that you can have, and uh, I, re I really encourage you guys to take a look at them all. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to go to use the video wall. And now, once you've chosen your menu style, you can go to uh, slideshow, customize menu, or menu text. Um, I'm going to go to the menu text. Um, here, you could add your DVD title, play what the play button will say, um, the scenes button. So like for menu, I'll just do BF3 Mission 2 for notes. Well here, for example, you can sh make change it and make it say info. You can say um, this is a Windows 7 program. There you go. Alright, so um, go ahead and click change text when you're done. And when you're done with everything else, um, including the menu, customized menu, um, you just do uh, different button styles and things like that. Um, go ahead and click the preview button so that we can actually see what you just made. Now right here you'll be able to see what your screen looks like. It's uh, very cool. But it'll have your title right here, uh, your plays, your scenes, your info. Um, you know, always, like, always be sure to like this video, it really helps out, and subscribe. And um, you can always click the back row, there's uh, scenes. Um, since I have two videos, it came up as two scenes. Um, if you have one video, it could actually separate the one video into multiple links, but you guys can actually customize that to your own preference. So that's pretty neat. Um, so once I click play, it'll actually start the first one in order. And after I start the first video, it will automatically go to the second video, just like it were a scene. So this is very handy when you're trying to make a movie for a school project or something else. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to give it a like and a subscribe. Thanks.